Hi, do you live in Asia or you're traveling to Asia and you're worried about mosquitoes? Well, you should be. In this video, we are going to talk about Japanese encephalitis, which is a viral encephalitis that is mosquito-borne and it primarily affects children. So watch this short video to find more about this disease and how to prevent it. Hi, I am Dr. Christine Kiat. I'm a board-certified pediatrician, and in my channel, I give you weekly videos for any question that you might have in order to help you raise happy and healthy kids. Yay! Japanese encephalitis. According to the World Health Organization, Japanese encephalitis virus is the most important viral encephalitis in Asia. It is mosquito-borne and this virus is in the same genus as dengue, yellow fever, and West Nile virus. Research shows that there are about 68,000 cases globally each year and this leads to 13,000 to 20,000 estimated deaths. It primarily affects children. What are the signs and symptoms? According to the World Health Organization, most infections are mild and would manifest as fever and headache. And initial symptoms in children include vomiting and abdominal pain. But 1 in 250 infections become severe. And severe infection would manifest as high fever, headache, neck stiffness, disorientation, coma, um, seizures, paralysis, and even death. Now, how about transmission? Well, the Japanese encephalitis virus is transmitted to humans through bites from infected mosquitoes. The disease is mostly found in rural and peri-urban areas. And transmission occurs mostly in the warm months, but can also occur all year round. So now, how is Japanese encephalitis diagnosed and treated? First, if you live in an area or travel to an area that is endemic to Japanese encephalitis, meaning uh, it is the area is native to Japanese encephalitis, plus you have the symptoms of encephalitis, as I have mentioned previously, then you are suspected to have the virus. Um, a lab test is needed to confirm the diagnosis. With regards to treatment, unfortunately, there is no specific treatment for this Japanese encephalitis. It is mainly supportive in order to relieve the symptoms and to stabilize the patient. And lastly, prevention is very important. There are safe and effective vaccines available that prevents Japanese encephalitis. The WHO recommends Japanese encephalitis immunization in all regions that the disease is recognized by the public health authority. Then how about travelers? Travelers should take precaution against mosquito bites and this can be achieved by using mosquito repellents and uh, wearing long sleeved clothes. Now, for travelers who will be spending an extensive amount of time in an endemic area should get vaccinated before travel. All right. That's the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed watching and you have learned a lot as well. I'll see you on the next video. Hi! I hope you enjoyed the video. I am here to provide support and help you raise happy and healthy kids. If you have any questions or if you want to suggest a topic, just type in the comments below. And don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and the bell button to keep posted. Alright?